Hello, Oboe Files! Today, we're trying out the Marigo M2 Oboe, and we're going to compare it to the Loray Royale Oboe, which I normally play on. We're going to check out what comes in the case, all the fun things about it, we'll compare the sounds, and I'll give you my thoughts on how the instrument looks and feels. Uh, I don't want to rob you from the full experience, though, so let's go ahead and unbox it, take it out of the case, check out what it comes with. And of course, if you like Obo videos and things of that nature, don't forget to like the video and subscribe below. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so this one is the Marigo uh, Obo. It has this amazing case. Uh, it's really cool. has a slot here for like music and things. It's like its own gig bag. Uh, it's pretty heavy <laughs> already. Uh, so if I put books and stuff in there, it might be kind of uncomfortable to carry. I might want to think about different case options but it's got this cool front pocket too um all kinds of tools in there a uh, stand for your oboe a swab there we go swab so that's cool uh strap for the bag some <laughs> marigo paraphernalia this looks like a oh it's like a card to tell you the instrument information so that's awesome so this is a uh, kind of went in went out in 2020 and the same thing in duplicate, and of course some court grease. So this is awesome. This is really cool that they come with all that. This bag has a lot of pockets, so that's awesome. Probably keep all your remaking supplies and stuff there. So this is a really cool gig bag that comes in. It's very stylish. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and open it up and see kind of what's inside. And this is the Marigo M2. So <laughs> it has this really cool case. It looks like it's carbon fiber, but I don't think it is carbon fiber if it's this heavy, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, all right, so let's see, the case has locks. So I haven't seen that before on an Oboe instrument, but that helps with your security. It looks like the bag is really well insulated with pads. So that's awesome. Okay, let's see what else, oof. As the case opens, unlike most Oboe cases I've seen, uh, but it's super nice looking. It's like very luxurious and plush inside. Uh, might be memory foam even. And the M2 is a cool instrument because it has these separate top joints. And unlike every other oboe I've ever seen, the body is in one long piece. So yeah, that's really cool. I can't wait to put it together and give it a try. Uh, just like all the Marigos, it has more adjustments than the Lorraine's I'm used to. And it's got these like in-lane pinky keys. <laughs> uh, so that's really cool too. Um, and of course, like it's got separate B and B flat adjustments, and you can change the heights of the resonance key. Um, so that's really, you know, something unique to Marigo. Well, I'm not sure it's unique to Marigo, but it's definitely not in my Lorray. Uh, and we'll see if it's on the different Lorrays. So let's put it together and give it a try. As you guys saw in the case, the M2 is an interesting oboe because it has a long middle joint, and that the oboe doesn't come apart in the middle here like most traditional oboe designs do. I'm not really sure what the thought is behind this. I guess it's so that the G sharp intonation is not wonky like it is in a lot of oboes or the F sharp sometimes is a little strange in a lot of oboes. Um, but what they've done is allowed you to switch between these two different top joints. And I think it's the inside that's a little different. They seem to be about the same length to me. Let me just pull out the other one. Uh, so, well, we can leave the cap on. So let's see, one of them is S and one of them is M. And they seem, oh, I see, one of them has, no, they both seem almost identical on the exterior. Maybe, uh, I mean, maybe the S is like a little bit longer, or maybe the M is a little bit longer. It's really, it's really hard to tell uh, which one is longer. But exteriorly, they look almost the same. I'm sure the inside is a little different. Uh, otherwise, why would we have two of them? <laughs> so let's try out the M first and I'll let you guys know how that feels and then we'll switch into the S. So we're trying out the M top, it's like the tippy top joint on this oboe. And one thing that strikes me about the Marigos immediately is that the key work, well obviously it's different than the Loray, uh, but it just feels really like close and tight. Uh, it's definitely very ergonomic. Um, I don't know if you guys can see how they've inlaid the left hand pinky keys on one another. Uh, so 
I'm not sure how that's going to translate into the technique things. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get used to a new technique uh, setup in a few minutes, but it might make for more efficient technique. I'm not really sure, but it'd be interesting to find out. The right hand pinky keys are almost exactly the same as every other oboe I felt, you know, nothing special there. Uh, but the A flat is definitely closer to the E flat key. That's pretty cool. All right, let's try out the sound. So I'm trying a new gouge on this read, and I'll link to the video where I get to take that gouge out for the first time and see how it works. It's an Anolide gouge, and it's kind of crazy. Uh, so it's worth checking out, and that's in the description below. Okay, so I really like how it feels immediately. Uh, very responsive, very like focused tone on this instrument, which is kind of nice. Um, I wanted to point out a few things when you're trying instruments out. You don't really want to be like playing your super noodly and fast technical passages on an instrument you're trying out. What you're trying to see is does the wood do what you expect and can you be flexible with the color of the tone and the intonation. If there's some notes that are just like ridiculously out of tune for you, it's probably not the oboe for you. And you know, that might not be, that might not mean that, that might not mean that it's not the oboe for someone else, it's just not the oboe for you. And you wanna be sensitive to how the color and intonation are working above everything else. So I might noodle around slowly, just kinda of going through, testing different intervals. But two intervals really are important to me, and that is the B to C. Try those out in a couple different contexts, and the other one is the E to F. I want those half steps to be malleable so I can kind of use them in different ways. So I already noticed that G and E is much lower on this elbow than on my instrument. And then lastly, I will try maybe a scale and some slow excerpts. So I like the way the instrument sounds. Uh, I don't feel as open with the tone as I do on my instrument. It's definitely a lot more compact and like lasery, which, you know, has its own charm. I do like the way that the keyboard feels in my hands actually, and I'm not really trying to like play fast, but I feel like I could get used to that. It's really compact. That's what I like about it. Uh, let's try what it sounds like with the other head joint. So this is now the S head joint. And now remember, when you're trying out elbows, you want to be drying them out. So swabbing between everything you do. Don't let moisture collect in the instrument.
think I like the M head joint a lot better immediately. It just seems to agree with my intonation tendencies a lot more. sharp is pretty pretty nice on this instrument um okay so now we'll try some select steps. oh d scale again well i'm not really sold on the c sharp d and e Could be a read thing if I made a read for this instrument specifically, it wouldn't be an issue. Um, but just things I'm noticing as I'm playing. So let's compare that to the oboe I usually play on. Let me swap out again because Grenadilla hates changes in moisture and we want to keep it dry as much as possible. To my own instrument, so I'm a little biased towards it. But let's try the slow excerpt on it just so you can hear the difference. on charms. Um, I think the M2 is a really cool instrument. Uh, definitely maybe not the instrument for me, uh, but a great instrument for other players, I'm sure. And it might just be this piece of wood, you know, and this instrument I would love to play uh, to maybe try out for a little bit longer. And I think I could get to like it, especially with the M top joint. I'm a fan of that for some reason. And maybe if I knew more about it or made some more reads for it, I could get into it a little bit more. I really do like how the instrument is designed, though. The design of the instrument is really cool. It's got an adjustable thumb rest back here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the uh, there's a little knob where you can move the thumb rest up and down. Uh, it has skin pads on the lower notes, though. So I'm not a huge fan of that. I much prefer the cork pads. I just think the seal is a lot more reliable. But that's the way that they designed it, and that's pretty cool. And the other design feature that I like is, as I was playing it, I noticed the F sharp key has a little bit more of a platform for your finger. So that's a little bit nicer, you're a little more sensitive. Uh, I don't know, maybe more accommodating is the word for where your hand goes. So that's pretty cool. The M2 is kind of an expensive oboe. Uh, I think it's like 10,500 right now in most places. So definitely not an oboe to just frivolously purchase, uh, but it could be a good investment if you are sounding the best on this instrument. So if you are looking for an instrument, I have more information about that kind of thing on oboebells.com. I'll link to those articles in the description. Uh, but other than that, don't forget to like the videos so that the YouTube algorithm shows you more oboe files content. And of course, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. 
Oh, and if you have made it this far in the video, you might be interested in signing up for the Oval Files newsletter. It's a free monthly newsletter to just keep up with projects that I'm working on and things that are happening in the Oval world. So, when in doubt, play beautifully.